Sean 4100, you are the first contestant on What the Fuck is Going On. Savage AF, waiting for Shane to get in there. What up, dog? Waiting on everybody. Uh, Y'all know what it is. Let me pin this shit right quick. Elaine K, welcome. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pinning right now, so, I, you know, it's hard for me to talk and do that. Oh, man, I just polished off a little, uh, hold on. Hold on. sorry, y'all, trying to see what Shane was talking about, but, um, let me go ahead and pin this. Oh, I just polished off a little bourbon, man. That was the last of the bottle. <laughs> trying to get through this day, man, I'm trying to get through this fucking week. Um, I want you guys, uh, let me see, follow Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Uh, what's up, TK? Yoshiko White. Let me see. Follow Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. There we go. I'm going to post that. I'm going to pin that. Bam. Now we're winning. Uh, waiting on Shane to jump in the building. Let me see what he was trying to, he was trying to text me something, but I can't really te check the text during the show. It's not on my phone. Um, but yeah, y'all, welcome. Savage AF, we're here Monday through Friday, right here on IG Live. Uh, Mondays and Fridays, today is a Friday. Uh, we're on 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Miss Unique Love, I see you. Tuesdays through Thursday, we are on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Uh, Miss No Slick Name, I see you. Breezy JJs, I see you. Um, you can also follow us uh, as a podcast if you if you miss us live uh, here on IG. AJ uh, Fit 365, I see it. Um, wherever you get your podcast, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Um, other than that, if you missed the video feed and you, you still want to see the show, that's, that's where the YouTube comes in. That's why I have it pinned right down here on the bottom uh, for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Get on it. Uh, YouTube. Just look up Savage AF Podcast. Savage AF Podcast. El Noob. Okay, Shang, I see him in the building. He's waving. I'm viewing. We're waiting. We're waiting. And here it comes. Cheers, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you after you get off work. I, I had a lot of shit that happened, not for me, but somebody else. And so I had to uh, help okay. them out. Yeah, like, like, right. like drama. movie shit. Sounds, sounds like drama. Not huh? from, yeah, not me, but yeah. All right. Still in the car. So uh, what's up, man? You, uh, Man, you know what? Aside from the world going crazy and people going crazy. We're here to keep a stabilizing yes. force for Savage AF. So, so y'all know that y'all can get the shit off y'all chest while we get the shit off our chest. That is back with yes. fact instead of, yes. of, of, of uh, all up in our feelings. Fuck your There's feelings. A lot, of, a lot of shit on chests right now, for sure. El Noob. <laughs> a lot going of, on. Which sounds so bad yeah. at the same time. A lot of dirty chests right now. Blythe Styling, we see you. Tony Jones, 4852, we see you, man. Um, so yeah, brother, you good where you at, man? It's a it's a little pixelated, but I think I, I think we got you. It's, it is pixelated. Uh, yeah, yeah, you you're a little bit in a puzzle land right now. Like it looks like you're All in right, between, well, like will... like you're getting downloaded into the matrix right now. Uh, All right, well, I will, I will, I will. So I am not pixelated, but I <laughs> I shouldn't be pixelated. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's all good. Hey, so uh, check this out, y'all. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get into the uh, show today. It is Friday, September twenty fifth, twenty twenty. This is Savage AF. Uh, make sure you're always following that comedian Shang and and myself at Black Pedro and at Savage AF Radio right here on IG. Um, that being said, I'm gonna give y'all the daily run up as we go along. Uh, 
tonight we're going to end the show with 1876. Take a little, uh-oh. What, what happened, Shang? What'd you say? Uh, no, I can hear you. We got a look. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. There, there's a little bit of chopping. It's pixel Is it still pixelated? Right. No, you can hear me. We got it. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. We'll get there, though. Don't worry. It's technology. People are used to it by now. We've been through the Teddy Rileys and all the kinds of things that happen. All right, so uh, we're going to go on a trip back in time, which is not something I usually uh, suggest for black people to do uh, in general, but 1876. And uh, we're going to talk about the election of that year and, and how it relates to what MAGA really means. Um, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what doesn't count, uh, as in these nine discarded ballots in Pennsylvania that have been discovered that the GOP is trying to use as some evidence of uh, voter fraud. Not going to happen. RVA Gourmet, welcome to the building, girl. Um, but before we talk about that, we are going to talk about this graham cracker crumbling. That is Lindsey Graham Cracker. Uh, he's like, he, they, they got him on Fox Noise uh, begging for money these days because uh, Jamie Harrison getting dough. Getting dough. Um, but before we talk about that, I'm going to ask y'all to do the math. <laughs> That's D-O-O-D-A-M-A-F-F. -F. Do the math, all right? Um, with the number of deaths we have and the number of total cases, it makes no sense that uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is, is opening bars and clubs fully. But that's about to happen. Shang, if you're talking, I'm not getting it, but I'm seeing you move every now and then. About every 35 seconds, I see your head move. Um, it's good. It's like I, a gif. Um, oh, wow. But before so we talk still, about that, up? we are going to start. Uh, oh, no, I heard that. There you go. All right. So... Uh, before we talk about that, uh, today, Friday, September 25th, 2020, Savage AF, uh, we're going to pop off the show with what, what I've seen as the first, uh, and I'm calling this tape delay, but this is, uh, <laughs> which is funny right now with the, <laughs> the pixelation and delays, but... Um, is it pixelated? I, I today saw from NBC News, yeah, but as long as, long as we can hear you, uh, you know, People, I'm sure, have in mind a good image of what you look like. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I, I just don't know. I, it's clear as a bell on my end. That's all. That, that's all. Uh, I don't. I don't get it. I don't right. get it. Um, it's all good. We're gonna fight through this. We've been through it before, y'all. We get through it. But today, uh, on an NBC News article, uh, we'll get Shang back. I'm sure. Uh, but I don't know if y'all saw this. Uh, saw the first uh, bit of because uh, you know I've been led to believe that there was no video evidence whatsoever of the Breonna Taylor murder. And um, today in an NBC News article, uh, I saw some, some police um, camera, body cam footage uh, from actual, from Mattingly, uh, or actually a, a, another officer that was, they were helping Mattingly, the one who got shot um, off the ground. They put him on like the trunk of a car and, and, and drove him down the street to get him out of there. Um, a, I didn't think there was any video footage, but, but B, I am, and thank you everybody jumping in, MDL Garcia, Yanni Kisar, we see y'all. But the, the first video that I see of the murder of Breonna Taylor, much like the, the verdict that uh, this coon ass uh, <laughs> AG in Kentucky, Daniel Cameron uh, put down is, uh, is disturbing because it's been leaked by Mattingly, the officer who was shot. It's been leaked by his attorney um, a a as part of evidence in an anti-defamation case because he's being called a murderer. So not only have we, did we not see any of the, the footage of any, of any of the wrongdoing that led up to her being shot and murdered, but the, and, and I, I, I was, I, I believe that at this point that there was no camera footage of it at all. Like that was something we were kind of mad about and it seemed shady, but now there is apparently some body cam footage. Uh, but it's, it's all about once again, the officers and has nothing to do with, uh, Breonna Taylor at all. Um, I see Shang yelling in the building. He's back in. We're going to get him in here. Um, 
spicy chicken legs is joined. That's just, that's a name that's going to just, you know, catch people all the time. Now, now I'm motherfucking hungry. Uh, but check this out. Um, let me see. Did I go ahead? Request if you can, Shane. Have a scene. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. We'll bring Shane back in. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, the, the, so I, I don't know if you got to hear Shane, but, uh, and I don't know if you got to see it, but I was just saying the first body camera footage um, to be released from the Breonna Taylor m murder, which I, I didn't even think there was any footage um, because what the fuck is taking so long for any of it to come out, but it's it's actually just about the officer who got shot and them, them rescuing him um, and his attorney has released it um, because, you know, he wants people to see what, what he went through um, so that they'll stop calling him a murderer. Um, and, and to be clear, he wasn't identified as the officer who actually fired the fatal bullet because they said one shot was actually fatal to, uh, to Breonna Taylor. And that was Cosgrove who shot that. But uh, right. Mattingly is Cosgrove, the one who got yeah. shot. Right, but I mean, but they, none of this, this would have happened if they would I'm just like, yeah, but I'm, I'm just really upset that the, the only video evidence that we've seen thus far, because I, I don't know about you, have you seen any video of any of that night? I haven't. Until no, I didn't. Until this, today, this is all brand new. This is all new shit. Yeah. Today on NBC News, and it's it's about the cop being shot. Nothing to do <laughs> with Brianna Taylor. Like, you know, it, it would seem like, it would be really wise to release a uh, video footage and easy to calm people down. If you have video footage of them knocking and saying, police, 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 you know, um, and then being shot. Well, then yeah, maybe but, have but an argument, I don't but. think they did. I don't think they did that one, that one yeah. witness sounds suspect. All of it sounds suspect. Um, I shouldn't be pixelated and you should be able to hear me now. I'm sorry. I'm reading the, the, the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, I just don't believe and, it, and the video that they have coming out just about the person that got shot, the the cop that got shot, it's like, no, you went along with them. You tried to cover it up. Uh, you knew that they were covering it up. So you're not a good cop. So fuck you too. That's where my head's at. Fuck them on that bullshit. And you know what? My empathy bone has been eroded away for police officers that have been injured because they keep saying, well, no, this is good cops. This is good cops. Good cops start doing stuff to the bad cops. Stop mm -hmm. it. Stop yeah, no. You know they fuck. Yeah. Well, I mean, just the existence of this video footage, Miss Adverb, we see you. Get in the corner for being late. Hey. Uh, but yeah. and RVA, RVA Gourmet said they didn't have cameras on, but somebody had a camera on, like, when, when Mattingly got shot and they were rescuing I watched the footage today. It's on NBC News. Uh, dot com like I mean I saw the man they helped him they put him on the trunk of a car and drove the car down slowly to get him out of there and, and they kind of retreated from the scene uh, but it, this was post shooting so I'm questioning now I, I bet there was body cam footage I bet there was I right. bet they are holding that back now because there's some there's some here to exonerate this officer according to his defense attorney uh, in this anti, because he doesn't want people calling him a murderer, so uh, they got footage for that. But you, you don't have any footage to show. But, to but just, that, to, but, to, but that, and you call it a justified shooting. They call you know this is Coonrin's fucking definition of not charging these guys. These other two is Mattingly and Cosgrove is that they were justified. So where is your justifying video that shows that? Because they you now you now we got video out that that shows this injured officer and we're supposed to feel sympathy for that man i'm gonna ask you to get the fuck out of here right. it's two ways out the window <laughs> or the fucking did you say i'm gonna ask you i'm gonna ask you kindly i'm gonna put this out there in the universe i need you to uh get the fuck on with that bullshit i i know i agree with you a thousand percent i just think that that they are being selective with the footage they want to put out there and the narrative they want to put out there we already know the narrative we already know what the narrative is the narrative is it was a justified, you know, shooting. It wasn't uh, any fault of the police officers or anybody at the police station at all. Okay, we got a couple other people joined in. 
El Noop in the building. Without and uh, publicity, yeah, publicity mag. So, uh, no, I just, I just really don't, I don't believe none of them. It's just the way they went about it. And uh, uh, Hambone, or whatever that nigga's name is, the nigga that, uh, Coontastic, uh, uh, Hambone, yeah, yeah. Hambone, have you heard? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, you talking about uh, McConnell's Bitch Monkey. Oh, yes, yes, his, McConnell's his, his, Bitch Monkey. His little shoulder monkey. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, and he wasn't. I don't know if that was his granddaughter, but that is his snowflake. Yeah. His snowflake. Yeah. So I mean, I I agree with you a thousand percent. You like get the fuck out of here. I really do believe that shit. I, I really do believe that they are being selective. I I mean, why would only one person have on the body cam? Just one of them. Hey man. Ah. There. You know what? The the shit that's been going down with this 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 idiocy on their side and the people that are trying to justify their actions. I'm just tired of them. How many people here on Savage AF are tired of these motherfuckers with they bullshit and they always come up with some kind of bullshit ass reason of why it happened and what we did and Page Black Pedro moved his eyebrows. I felt like his eyebrows were going to attack me with anger. So see? See? That's why. Yeah, see, see, you gotta watch Black Pedro. Yeah, man, you gotta watch him. And they would definitely emphasize the black on Pedro with you, with mm -hmm. you. And but again, it's 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 in Pedro's act. They, it's a they, two for one with they you. Would, they would probably <laughs> they would probably uh, actually uh, modify it to to good old nigger Pedro. Get him, nigger Pedro. He's on the loose. <laughs> they would modify it like they'd actually make it. Like we've been calling him Black Pedro for a while, and I yeah, just don't. No, I did, it's not the it don't have the punch I need for my racial hatred. I think we'll go with uh, that nigger Pedro. Well, while we're while we're here, good brother, and, and we're 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 sitting in this energy, brother. And let, yeah. let's let's I'm gonna go ahead and ask y'all to to do the math right here on Savage AF, okay? Because and that's math. It's math. Do the D double O D A math M A double F. Okay, do the math. Okay. Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis wants to open out up of his mind, all man. the bars and all the nightclubs to full capacity again. And he said, we never turning back from here. yippee ki yay ki -yo. Let me tell you that right now. Yep. Gonna and dang. we're going to have the Super Bowl. We're going to have the Super Bowl in Tampa. We're going to do whatever we got to do to make sure COVID kills as many people as possible. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're going to do. Yes, math. That's right. I say so, math. Yeah. yeah. So... Hippie, Here's the math. Diva kick. Here's the math I'm looking at. Because you know all these people are like... Well, oh, you know, Eve, Eve. Eve's in the building. Make sure we say uh -oh. what's up. Eve. Yes, always. Eve's underscore Eve. Apple. My phone was having nine, problems. One, Sorry. We see you. Um, so here's the math I'm doing, okay? We're looking at 7 million cases in America, okay? 200,000 deaths. Everybody wants wait to a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you I mean, make sure you're clear with me. So you said two two hundred thousand deaths, D E F Fs, deaf people or deaths? Uh, I mean de de deaths. You know, like uh, swing low, sweet chair. Oh dead, dead, dead. Yeah. Well, okay, well then carry um, me home. I mean, what's the concern? That's what they're trying to act like. What's the concern? Let's just open it all up and start licking each other's faces. But but sometimes when you just look at the numbers, you know, it, it they're just numbers, you know. They, 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 you got to do stuff with the numbers, okay? That's what, what they call math. That's what math is. It's just it's doing stuff with numbers. Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out is everybody says that, you know, the death rate is just point oh 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 one percent man. You know, you know, nobody really – it's just point oh 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 one percent and I'm always like, where they get all the old oh, 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 one percent from? So the way the math works, right, is if you take the seven million cases, right? I'm sorry, if you take the two hundred thousand uh, deaths and divide it by the seven million cases, right, you get point oh two eight, and that turns out to actually be two point eight percent, which means that I think we have closer to a three percent death rate here in America. Now maybe worldwide they're doing better, and that might get us closer to oh 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 one percent, but. As far as my math is working, I, I do believe that uh, we're doing like two, two point two, almost three percent. So 
if, if, if you take 300 million people, then we'll just stop there in terms of the population, okay? Uh, I, two, I, you know what? 3% of that would be 3 million gang down, dang down peoples. Now, come on. But, but listen, a publicity mag wants to, uh, us to not million, talk about the death. 6 million people. 6 million people. She, she, on, she, yeah, right. But she, publicity, a he, she, I'm sorry, it, it wants they, us they. to say, publicity mag wants us to say, y'all need to be talking about the money that Trump is trying to give you. Okay. That's called distraction, people. Distraction. We're not talking about that right now. Uh, right. We're talking about this. Called a bribe. All right. It's a goddamn and according bribe. to the chump, it doesn't. Okay, this is a wild shit. Uh, a A A A G Fit three six five. Make sure you follow. Uh, according to Chump, which is great. That's his name, Chump. It don't affect nobody, even after audio out of him saying otherwise. Oh yeah, no. They, he, what is it? He spent. They spent it, and the, and the press secretary Barbie with her evil ass. Oh, this witch is getting on my nerves, man. She is an evil, evil woman. Oh, uh, she, she, she is. Oh, yeah. She, she, she lies through her little Barbie face. Oh man, it, she is just made of it, made of the bullshit. But uh, the reality is, man, uh, like you said, he loves to downplay it. But our reality is, our death rate is, is kind of high or higher than we needed to be here in this country. So if y'all just keep letting it spread. We ain't doing no point oh oh one percent here. We're doing like two, in terms of the death, if, if my right. math is right. So, uh, yeah, man, that you know, that's uh, that's that's, that's some a lot. real shit. Yeah, because you know, if we get to the whole population, like two percent of three hundred million people, I believe would be six million people, right? So, that's a that's a lot of fucking death, man. That's you know, and uh, you know, but it, but. It's affecting black people. But let me ask you this. So you talk about giving yeah, money to black uh, people, but what about some aid? Because we're the ones really dying disproportionately and Latinos, right? Like twice as much as your average European American. So you can give the $100 billion, $500 billion to black people. That's easy when they all did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I tried to pass out the money. Unfortunately, they didn't make it. Tell me and, who. Why, and, and also pass, pass out the money late. So let's you want to keep, uh, uh, you know, harping on that. It was all late. It was... People that already got evicted. There were, in fact, there was 200 people a pop in Houston getting ev evicted a day. 200 people a pop. So I don't want to hear that bullshit no more. I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of that shit. And I get it. You can't spend money if you did. Okay, so uh, I don't, that's that's another thing that you can get on with that. Wait a minute. In the immortal words of uh, Pedro, you need to get the fuck on with that. Hey, man. That's, kindly get the fuck it's out. It's bullshit. Too. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's just dumb. But you know what else isn't adding up out here <laughs> is uh, Lindsey Graham Cracker's bank account right now. Um, apparently, you know, r right after uh, the death of Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who uh, s spent the day uh, as, the, as the first woman to ever lie in state. Um, first, yeah, first woman, first Jew, first. Which is, think about it, 2020... And this is the first woman. So if you women don't see that as a, as a, a rally cry to get these motherfuckers out and balance this shit off, I don't know what else, what'll what do it for you. Yeah, man. Uh, but, uh, they, they, you know, apparently right after that in, in the preceding, like, 72 hours, um, basically that weekend, Jamie Harrison, who is in a tight race opposing Lindsey Graham in uh, South, Carolina, South Carolina, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they are. Uh, he got like nine million dollars. You know what I mean? And Lindsey Graham's predicting that he's going to get a hundred million dollars, and that J Jamie Harrison's going to get a hundred million dollars, and that he's going to. He so he he was on Fox News the other day, like basically begging, begging. for money, <laughs> like please begging for the price. I'm begging you <laughs> for the price of he's a Rolls Royce. He was you, could, you could you could pay me <laughs> to to win, like uh, yeah. <laughs> So, he, he, he's like those, like those old R&B guys, please, please, please. He was just so fucking sappy. Ah, oh, what did the fucking smack him across the face with a dead fish? He's just a, such, I don't know why, but that, because not only you smack, but you got the smell on you. That's the fucked up part. Yeah, yeah it's going to be you like, know? and people will know. They'll, they'll walk by and be like, did you get slapped with a fish? My God. Yeah, because I mean, not you only your face like is red, slapping. you smell like, yeah, you smell like, you smell like hobo pussy. So um, I think the main thing with Lindsey Graham right now is he's flip-flopped so much that 
if anybody gives his gives him money, they're just part of the cult. Because yeah. nobody with any sense would look at this dude and believe anything he's going to say. Because this video out of one minute he's saying, you know, I think he's a kook. I think he's out of his mind. I think that. And then the next thing he's saying, I don't understand why the media is calling him a kook or out of his mind. Well, because of you, motherfucker. Because of you. Um. So yeah. here's here's where I was ultimately going with this is uh, RVA Gourmet said, I gave money to Jamie Harrison. Um, his wife went to Yale Law School with some of our Princeton classmates. Whatever the reason is, give, if you got a, a few dollars, throw them towards Jamie Harrison, man, because, you know, um, these are the people that we really need to get out of the, like, like Shang is mentioning, you see them two-faced, hypocrite, flip-flopping, uh, yeah. on live TV constantly from minute to minute. I mean, it's they're like, they would make great uh, fucking double Dutch <laughs> competitors, right? Like, they, just, they get in there and they just get their feet moving, boy, and they start hopping around and shit, and I'm like, yeah, man, y'all are good at this. Uh, but, you know, the reality is we do, so if you don't see the, the importance of voting, and, you know, look at the Breonna Taylor case, like, an attorney general like that, they get voted in. You know what I mean? Like your your local prosecutors, they get voted in. So that these are important things. These are how we end up with you know, ch you know, at least officers getting charged in Minnesota versus you know the, the walls you know being punished for missing Breonna Taylor uh, in, right. in in Kentucky. So uh, it, it, it it it's the difference between a Keith Ellison and a, and a Daniel Cameron Coonan. You know what I mean? Like. You know, so that that's why this voting is important. Get out there, guys. Like, if you got some money, give it to Jamie Harrison, South Carolina. It's a swing state, man. We need this. And, and, and Jamie Harrison actually has shown that he is, it's not just, you know, voting against. He actually is qualified and actually has sensibility, intellect, empathy, and, and organization. So the reason I say you should vote, you know, go for him is not just because, Oh, well, I don't like him. Sometimes we vote. And the same thing with Biden. Some people are voting against Trump. But in actuality, Biden wouldn't do all this fuckery. If he was president, he wouldn't do all this fuckery. I'm not saying that he's the, um, the end all be all. unique uh, end-all, be-all, or the, you know, the perfect candidate. The great but he is savior. far better than... Right, right. He's in that, now, a lot of people had problems with Hillary Clinton, but that was after decades of right-wing fucking false information, just like they're putting out a lot of false information out about Biden. So don't get it twisted, motherfuckers. This is what it is. Yeah. Um, Savage AF, y'all. You know what it is. Make sure you're always following at Comedian Shang and myself at Black Pedro. Uh, you, see it wow. pinned, you see it pinned down below. So make sure you're following Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Just look that up. Savage AF podcast subscribe on subscribe yeah. subscribe share it too like let your people know like yo you 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 can't catch the show live on ig catch it here you got to see what these dudes uh, are saying right? and so, this is addressed to you this is addressed to black pedro publicity mag that is yeah that's addressed to you that's not addressed to me that's addressed to you it says you cannot tell anyone how they they should vote didn't say that i didn't say anything about voting i said get i said donate yeah <laughs> You don't be listening. Get in the corner. Yeah. Publicity, man. God damn it. Yeah. Get, get in the corner. God damn it, man. You try and tell the kids something and then they just start yelling. This is why the postal service is important. We need to also make sure that publicity, man, gets their medication. All right. It's very, very right. important. As you can see, they fall apart quickly at the seams <laughs> when uh, they yeah, don't have yeah. <laughs> the balance right. So. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. But here on Savage F, we welcome that. And also DD3 who said that she got flagged because of some content that she said, I get it. And the yeah. devil is busy, but the devil is busy on, on both sides because the Democrats do have problems, but the Republicans really have been showing their ass. And some of the shit Trump has been saying, not only this morning about he's not leaving, he's not leaving. That motherfucker is not leaving. He says, he, he basically said it. He said, he's not leaving. And, you know, and then again, he got 40 million people that will back him and, for him not to leave. Yeah, yeah. So think about well, how well, crazy know. that is. And McConnell's down see. with him, bitch ass McConnell, and so is Lindsey Graham. They're all in his well, pocket. I don't know what he did. Or, so, I think they, they got something on him. It's, you know, and it, so uh, part of that whole buildup 
um, to holding on to power is this undermining of uh, the election system, uh, particularly mail-in ballots. So they, they being the GOP and, and, and Trumpy Dumpty and Kaylee McEnany, press secretary Barbie, have, have glommed on to this. <laughs> yeah, you started not liking her more. You could hear it in um, you. Said, not, you know, and now I'm, I'm there, you know, at first I was just like, yeah, yeah, she's like all the others. But no, nah, there's a, there's a different, like, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, like she had like that evil kind of fate. But this, this, she, this, this press secretary Barbie, it's the, it's the blondiness of her, which isn't like a racial thing, but it's like that, that entitled, oh man, you know, it's, it's that entitled, I think I'm so pretty, you got, you know, I don't have to do or listen to anything you say. She gets snappy. Oh, I just. Uh, uh, yeah, so that I can tell because the way you said it, you were like, Ugh, yeah. like she's the kind of person where you want to wipe your ass with a washcloth and then smack her in the face yes. with the same washcloth. Yeah, man. I, like, I, like, I, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I want to buy fast food just to throw it at her head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't eat that shit anymore, but I, I would throw like filet of fishes at her head, like open face so she get tartar sauce in her hair. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit don't come out easily. Don't ask how I know. Here's the thing, guys. They, they uh, want to go on to this. I know. <laughs> they, that was what I was going to ask. Like, how do you even know that? Uh, that's not, they, not so much. They want right to glam on to this, this, this story in Pennsylvania of literally, dog, nine ballots that were found oh, yeah. discarded in the trash or something like that. And they're like, they were Trump ballots. First of all, they were, it, it was seven, seven of the ballots were for Trump. Uh, but the reality is, out of the six million voters in Pennsylvania, it was nine motherfucking ballots. And it got found. And it's being investigated. They were all from the military. It, 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 it's, it's a thing that gets tracked. Like, these things get tracked. So, so scale that up. They know. They, they know so what it thing, is. My thing is, like, if they can, if they can find nine discarded ballots... And you want to say that 90 million are going to be discarded. Wouldn't that be even easier to fucking find? Like, hey, who left these 90 million ballots in the corner over here, man? I ain't cleaning up all this shit. Leon, <laughs> Leon, the fucking janitor in the morning is going to be pissed. Because he's going to be like, yeah. y'all know all these goddamn ballots don't fit in the dumpster. And then that nigga going to be on World Star Hip Hop. And they got all these, and they think a nigga like me going to clean it up. Fuck you, America. I ain't doing this I ain't shit. cleaning shit. It's gonna Fuck off, up. I ain't cleaning shit. They got a ballots over there big as a building, and you want me to clean the shit up? Check this out. When he starts talking about himself in third person, look, Leon ain't going to do shit, okay? Leon has decided not to do none of this shit. It's, it's all corruption. Now, the other thing is the Democrats, they always say the Democrats are trying to pull a, pull a scam, and he actually said, if I don't win, it's not a l legitimate election. If I don't win. That sounds like the biggest fucking whiny bitch-ass person. If I don't get the ball, nobody can play. Hmm. But He's but such to talk a about fucking yeah, bitch man. But to talk about like widespread voter fraud, and then to use this case of nine ballots um, in Pennsylvania is something that is exemplary of that. I mean, it's pretty insane, dog. Because like again, if you do the math, <laughs> nine out of six million ain't shit. That's now that's your point. Oh, 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 oh one percent. Yeah, that, now that, that's that, the, now that's oh, the oh, math. Oh, oh. That's, That's the math we need to talk about. But yeah, you know what they're going to use? It. They're going to use it because they can use that as, we'll see, we'll see. But they're not going to – but for some reason, in the states where he needs those swing states to get the electoral college vote, it's okay there. It's okay if that happens there. If it happens in Florida, it's okay. It's a, if it happens in Wisconsin, it's okay. So we already know that it's all part of the fucking – He's basically trying to sow the seeds of people when the election, when he loses the election, if he does lose the election by a, a wide margin, he can use that as it's all fake news. And they had an interview with a bunch of people, and guess what? All of them believe in him. Mm -hmm. All of them think, they're like, well, if, if, if he loses and Biden wins, then that means that the election is fake. And they're going to ride with it. But you heard about the nine ballots. There was nine. No, there were seven. Well, seven ballots, whatever. Shut up, nigger. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what they're going to do. It's just sad right now. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. I, saying I, we I, buck, I, yeah, I can't. Publicity Mag is saying we buck dancing. This one, this one of them days, man. They, they haven't gotten, 
publicity mag has not gotten their medication people so it, it on days like this it, it's actually sad it's kind of like kanye uh when he goes into one of his fits um he said publicity mag doesn't have the same platform so they come on ours and uh spew out their bipolar just publicity mag here. yeah how are we buck dancing how are we buck dancing by don't, saying don't, the that's not that's dance. not something you ask listen off meds, you can't be asking publicity mag questions like that because then they get That's into non sequitur comments like we sound like Scooby Doo, and I'm like, "Are the fuck are you talking about?" You know what I'm saying? Like, so anyway, where did that come from? Anyways, we're 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 still waiting to see this widespread voter fraud um, that everybody's talking about. But these ain't no nine motherfucking ballots in Pennsylvania ain't, is not scaring me. Um, <laughs> and yeah, man. You know, percentage-wise, that 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 is what's a very small percentage, not not the death rate here in America. Um, speaking of America, man, we are Savage AF. Um, say it again. Brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Is that what we're using? Did it pause or something? Yeah, yeah, you paused for a minute, at least on mine. But go ahead, you the head of the FBI what? No, the head of the FBI, the head of the FBI also said, no, we don't really have a lot of evidence, if you look at the history of it, of wild, widespread voter fraud. Um, there's a reason, and he said there's a reason people want to vote um, by mail. It's called a pandemic. And that was so gangster. It to actually add that sentence, because you know that was his personal feeling, like, there's a reason these motherfuckers want to vote by mail, because there's a pandemic. So uh, it's not like that. that's the norm. People do usually go to the, you know, polls and vote. But this is not the situation right now. That's yeah. it. We're in a weird-ass situation, and part of that was caused by a fucking incompetent-ass man that wants to start a civil war, and we know it. He wants a, a racial division so he can have a civil war and be distracted from getting his punk ass orange cunt stick face out of office. That is it. Everybody knows. And, it. and speaking of all those things, civil war and slavery and all of that, man. Uh, the other day, my mother and I were talking, and she was like, uh, "I mean, we're just in a place this country's never been before." And I was like, "No, we've been here before. It's the civil war." You know, this is this is this country's done that. She was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And then uh, today she sent me an article. So it must have been yesterday we were talking about that. So today she sends me this article um, about the 1876 election. All right, um, this is from the Washington Post. Um, the 1876 election. I, you know, I wasn't aware of this history, but you know, it came on the hundredth anniversary of America, and you saw. Uh, the Democrats, Samuel Tilden versus Rutherford Hayes. Uh, Hayes obviously eventually became the president. Um, long story short, and you guys can look this up. Um, you can look up the, uh, what was it called? The Compromise of 1877 is, is what it ultimately became known as. But uh, some delegates went rogue on their votes. Uh, a commission was formed to ultimately decide the outcome of the um, election. The commission ended up, ended up getting tilted um, towards Republicans. Um, and it was just like now, Democrats controlled the House and Republicans controlled the Senate and the White House, but they were different parties back then. They were reverse roles. Um, right. So eventually, through this compromise of 1877, what happened was the Democrats allowed Hayes, the, the Republican, to um, take the White House. Um, as long as he pulled out federal troops from uh, rebellious southern states. This is post-Civil War, you know, supposed to reconstruction. Um, but after all the Civil War, what the North event essentially did was pull completely back out of that um, because the removal of the federal troops, which they did, um, brought the, you know, the voter suppression violence against blacks, uh, Jim Crow, all of that. Like, that's where all of that comes from is because those federal troops were there to enforce, you know, the, the um, emancipation, you know what I mean? So uh, they were there protecting black people from being enslaved again. 
Um, Not only being enslaved, but also being enslaved and killed in the streets. Yeah. Because there was four different instances where they literally just rode in and decided, you know what? We're going to kill as many black people as possible. That happened. You can check it out. It happened in various parts of the South. And so part of them backing out or punking out was because of that. Um, right. Which is and, sad. And, and, and so when we think about where we are right now and how Trumpy Dumpty is, is working up this division among, you know, the whole nation, uh, when um, should America come to a moment where it's like, are we about to go into another civil war? Because essentially in 1876, that's what they were, that, you know, that was one of the big fears is like, this shit could get cracking again because, you know, heads are meeting this, this uh, election is contested. Um, there's, there's right. this fight, there's this fight for power. So rather than, um, you know, get back into a civil war situation, uh, what did they do? They sacrificed niggas civil liberties and freedoms and everything that the, well, not everything, but you know, the sort of linchpin of the civil war was, was slavery. And essentially, they just gave it back to the South and turned their heads. That's what, that's what, so when, when we say MAGA, that's what MAGA, that's the great again part. Like, they're trying to go back to that, I think, where it's going to be some popular immigrants, blacks, somebody that they are sacrificing, right, in order to prevent, you know, to prevent, the right. loss of America. But to, I, to, I, to you know what, I, I think that. They don't get it. One, they're the minority. I don't give a fuck what they say. They're the minority. They were the minority even with Hillary Clinton, and people didn't like Hillary Clinton. But guess what? They were the minority. Then they're the minority now. Most, most From every poll, most people think this motherfucker is a dookie stick, and that is it. Not, not at all. So if they try that shit now, it's the same shit. You heard them say, hey, you know what, man? We got guns, too. Like, yeah, I mean, there's going to be a lot of America, like this time. I don't think so. America is different, uh, a lot different right now in, in a lot of ways, right? So demographically, we do need to recognize, uh, you know, I know people who say white people all, all the time, but it, it's really not all white people. So there are, there are white people out there that are standing by you and, and willing to fight with you. They have married into families and had children with, and they have black kids, you know what I mean? Like there are white people out here with black children, you know what I mean? And, and a good majority of them, uh, you know, are... are have those fears that, that any black parent would too, uh, if they have any goddamn sense. Right. Um, but by now they should having, having a black child. Um, so, right. but so the, the demographic of America is different. It's, it's not just a white black thing, um, which I think complicates it for them. And, and the them being what we're going back to, because all of that decision, the commission, the deciding the two presidential candidates, all white dudes are like, you know, not even white women were voting then. You know, nobody, it was just white guys making all the decisions. So they're really trying to get back to all of that. And, and, and that, for you ladies of all colors, oh, for sure. is the same thing, right? Like, that's why they're working so hard on the Supreme Court, to lock your vagina but, down, put it in a box, yeah. and only be able to use it when they want to use it. And then, then that, that's their vagina. Then you don't have a vagina anymore, ladies, okay? You, you all get barbied. And they're gonna take your vagina, and you're gonna be smooth between the legs, and that's not gonna right. feel good. And your you're vagina, like your vagina is gonna, your vagina is gonna be in a lockbox, and you're not gonna be allowed to even look at it unless you show ID. The point is, this is what's going on with it. Also, I was watching some stuff online. They, the people that believe in Trump and believe in that side of it, um, they people were saying, well, you can't blame them because they're just stupid. Yeah, you kind of can blame people sometimes when they're stupid, but it is. Been, it has been taught that they are the privileged. They are the ones supposed to run in things. They are the ones. So they bought into all of that. So even when Trump is absolutely proven wrong and the GOP is absolutely proven wrong with their, the way they're going about things, they're like, well, look, you know, I've just moved to Panama. I'll move to Panama or I'll move mm -hmm. to South Colombia or whatever. And they just don't get it. They are that entrenched into this cult. We call Trumpism. So all you bl and there's black people like that too. Maybe publicity, Meg. I don't know if you are a Trump supporter and if you're not a Trump supporter. But the bottom line is, they buy into that shit. They don't care that he's incompetent or he's an idiot. And he is right. He can say whatever he wants. But that's the mega they want to do. They really want to go back to that shit really bad. Like when I could just walk up and just kill a nigger for looking at my girl. Yeah. 
You looked at my girl, God damn it. And I knew it was nigger Pedro. It was nigger mm. Pedro that did it. And you know what? And my girl looked back, so I'm going to kill her later, but I'm going to kill him now. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, it, it's uh, and and then you know I've seen these clips like CNN did a report where they were at a, a Trumpy Dumpty event, and you know they oh, were just going that. going through the you know this kind of misinformation that's out, especially about uh, Joe Biden, um, and and doc the doctored videos, and you know the guys brought up they're like didn't you mean he fell asleep on live TV, and then you know they challenged him and had them look it up and saw that it was you know made up, but even after that they were like. Well, I don't doubt that it would happen, though. And it's like, well, you know, it, they, they don't, they, well, facts don't mean anything. They're always going to create a narrative that supports um, this, this, you know, very singular agenda. And while, you know, I, you know, I think there have been, you know, a good number of wh white women who have participated in it. Um, now, oh, yeah. You, there's, there's, I don't think you can say all about any type of people, right? Ain't, anybody, all but you know what? Person. But I think... A uh, but a good percentage, though, because um, Miss Adverb sent me this article. Did she send you the article about um, white, the most dangerous people in America are white women? It's not white men. It's not black men. It's white women because white women have stoked the fires for white men to do heinous shit in this country, you know, uh, to kill black men, to kill black women, to kill and kill from their thing. And they're, they're so protected because we have to make sure Karen's not upset because Ultimately. Karen's upset. I, I, I see I see that perspective. I, I do. I, I still I still argue that all of that happens within the the racial construct that white men built. It is still a patriarchal male construct. So right, so white men oppressed everybody, right? Like even their own women. So then out of a lack of power, white women turn around and you start shitting on the people you can shit on, which are black people, right? So you, everybody just tries to gain. And then black I, people, I, and then black people shit so on not, other I'm people. Not, yeah. I'm not saying white women didn't do anything. I'm just gonna say I, I can't be the one to say they're actually the worst. Like it, it's it's some evil shit when you call when you scream rape. But when you scream rape, it's like it's not a word that makes black men that that hangs a black man from a tree, right? It's the white men that come do that, right? And it's, right, and right. they set no, up right. a, it, they yeah. set up a system that told that white woman that she could do at least that. You can't vote. You're not as smart as me. You can't work next to me. You can't earn as much money as me. But what you can do is get niggas killed if you want to. We'll give you that. So that, to me, that's still a white man construct. And that, that no, it's definitely a white man from, construct. But, you know, it's, but if we say that, then if we say it's a white man picking, construct, you know what? Yeah, people are saying, oh, well, you're being racist. You're being racist if you say it's a white man construct. It is. Who, is, who has caused most of the fucking chaos and evil in America. Would you say as black people? Are we the one with our finger on the button? Are we the ones uh, that are constantly doing the heinous shit that's going on in this country? No, no. We've done heinous shit. I'm not saying we don't do heinous shit, but overall the heinous shit in the globe has been done by European Americans and Europeans. I mean, or I mean, none of the Nazis, I didn't see a lot of brothers being Nazis, but that did that to the Jews. Let's be real. They fucked the Jews over majorly, and, and that all, was and, white and men. A bunch white of other men. Groups too. And yeah, they they groups so too. yeah. So we can we can we can. It doesn't mean you're you're hating on everybody because it can't be everybody because you can't say all oh, black people are pure. No, they're not. They do crazy shit too. But guess what? Who do the most crazy shit? Now, that's why I think between Trump and Biden, they go well. Biden, the, the you know the the crime bill. I mean, it, yes. Absolutely. The motherfucker needs to be checked heavy for that. But guess what? He ain't even in the same ballpark of the level of racism. If this motherfucker wins, he's going to be like, well, I won, so everybody in cages. Everybody. Ultimate, ultimate, Why not go into Cat Williams? <laughs> everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody go get locked up. Well, I mean, ultimately, that's what he's trying to stoke up, though. It's like he might not, like... I actually don't believe that the military, the United States military, any of these motherfuckers would, would back him in some violent overthrow of the government. You know what I mean? To to uh, maintain. Power. I don't know about that. Not you the, really not believe the, that? Not the U.S. military. I don't. I don't think they're. I don't. I think they believe. Uh. In, I, I think they believe in their institution and that it's not meant to be used against the American people. I think most of them do believe that and were 
Like that's why a lot of retired generals and things like that were pissed about the the um the park, the Washington Square Park uh incident, right? But um the 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 real thing to worry about uh because if the if the military turns on us anyways, we're fucked. You're fucked. You ain't you ain't shit you going to do against some tanks and <laughs> drones and all that shit. Like you it just the you, I don't know what you're going to do. You got to go out in the blaze of glory. But the real problem to me... No, but are, are, we got are, Gertrude, are, are we though. Instead, but we got Gertrude, though. Yeah, that shit gonna sound like tink against that tank. <laughs> like, tink. Uh, but uh, it's, the, it's, it's all Get these... Get him, Pedro! Tink. It's these supporters. It's the ones we saw in these clips saying that don't pay attention to the facts who are just oh, like... Oh, they're so fucking... They're, they're like, stupid. Oh, you know, they're like, I don't care. And, you know, we know... And he's... I mean, these people believe this QAnon shit. Like, that. Trump is here to expose this devil, evil circle of thing, and it's like, bro, like, uh, and they have guns, baby and they tobacco, and it's like, all right, man, listen, that's gonna be your problem because come election day bullshit or you know any kind of secession of power thing like that, it's gonna be them motherfuckers in the street. That's what Trump is stirring up. He he's not gonna get the military to back him, but he will have. Okay. Crackers back in. Uh, he will have crackers out there. And publicity Max said that Joe Biden's clear uh, voting record shows he's clearly racist. Um, you know what? Uh, I will double check that, but maybe you might be right. But guess what? Uh, I think that he's old and he wants to kind of, he's a panderer. And because he's a panderer, he will pander to the majority of people that want him to just be old Joe that sails along and gets everything back to normal. That's hit, what I think hit, he's going to do. I, I don't think he's going to do any crazy shit. Well, I mean, but I, it just comments like that, though, are, are, are useless, though, because for, from publicity mag, because it's like, all right, you've said you don't support Trump, even though you're, you're, you're semi sound like you always do. And then and then you bash Joe Biden. And then so I, I you know, I don't know what the fuck your point is. And then you, you want to go all caps on some side topic that only interests you. Or that and then you want to call passion up, project. Fuck like, just start, start your own fucking show. Like, I, I but like to, to bad mouth Joe Biden and, and not support Trump. Well, what the fuck are you doing out here? Like, yeah, just what's shut your up. answer, motherfucker? <laughs> go vote. Like, go vote and shut up. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, go Jesus vote for Christ. Trump or go vote. Do whatever or don't vote. Yes, but guess every, what? They were you know all, what I'm saying? You don't have no fucking answer. They right. Were all racist. And guess what? I got. But the thing is, if. If, if you ask me, I do got answers. That's the thing people say. Well, I mean, what would you do? I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do to actually put, uh, I'm, I positively think we need police reform. I positively think they need to be trained longer. I posit so there are answers that I could give if somebody asked me, okay, but this is just where you're coming from. And, and we get the different people that want to jump in and talk shit and say we're buck dancing because we say this. I don't remember one conversation we've had on here where we were buck dancing. We were like, well, I just want everybody to be okay. And I just want, and Breonna Taylor's police officers, they all was innocent. Oh, uh, no, we didn't buck dance in any way, shape, or form pretending that. I just think that that's you, and you should just go start your own little cult of dumb people that follow people off while they play the flute near cliffs. So here, here's the thing. That's Publicity Mag's like, bad mouth, the facts are in the congressional record. Like, I, I, I seriously doubt that in the congressional record it's going to say Joe, Vi Joe Biden voted racist on these things, right? It's, it's, it's okay. always going to be about an interpretation of the vote. So when you say that based on his voting record, he is clearly racist, that, that's not going to be clear to everybody, right? And I, I'm not defending or anything like that. I'm just trying to get you to understand how you caught up in your own mind so much. And you, you've said many times how smart you are and how much smarter you are than everybody else. But like, right. things ain't always so clearly clear to everybody's clearly clearness. So... You, you're 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 like and by the way your hamster wheel in your mind is the hamster's getting tired time to get by the, by the way I, I you, you know by the way other than that dumb dummy dumb shit this is savage af brought to you by the world famous laugh factory make sure you follow the man this man that's actually up right here there's a story of a young man and so because <laughs> we're in boxes and we got to do that so um make sure you follow at black pedro and make sure that you subscribe we need more subscribers don't fuck around don't be left out i need you to subscribe to the podcast first off 
iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and our new YouTube channel. Yay! Yay, team! YouTube channel, just search Savage AF Podcast. Boom, and you'll find it. You'll see You'll see Pedro's face, you'll see my ungodly face, and that's what you do. Even though I'm not a follower of the godly thing, but it's still, that's the way I describe my face. So make sure you do that. Okay, wow. Some people are getting mad and blocking each other. That's going to happen on Savage AF. Yeah, that happened. Our crowd is more savage than we could ever be. Uh, that's what it is. Yes. Uh, um, I know we're getting close to the end here, guys, but uh, yes. you know, you know we're, we are in a flux period, I think, in our country that, that is on the brink of, of something uh, revolutionary, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, so <laughs> prepare and, yourselves. But Gertrude will save us. I feel it. I think. <laughs> Yeah, everybody get behind Bink. me. Tink, tank. Yeah, no. And all of a sudden you see a tank. <laughs> Bink. Fuck you. Bink. <laughs> That's what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, man. But uh, prepare yourselves in, in all the ways. Like, get, get to know all your candidates locally on up to the top of the bill. Um, exercise your vote so that whatever bullshit happens, at least you right. can say, you know what? They stole my vote or they shat on me. They shat on my rights. Not, oh, I just left my rights. I left my rights in the couch. I'm like the cushions right. on my couch or whatever, like while I'm sitting there on my ass. Change, I saw my, some change in my right to vote in the couch. Also, and check this out. In other ways. And, and check this out. If you're in California, California, just let you know that October 1st is when you can do early voting pertaining to this whole election. But I'm letting you know something. And I'm not going to tell you how to vote. Is it the 5th or the 1st? Is it I, think the fifth? I think it's October fifth. I'll get it right quick before we get out of here. No, it, no, it's you know, it's. I'm sorry, you, I think so. But Shauna Elizabeth said uh, our election is October first. I thought it was the first. Shawnee Elizabeth. Sure. Shawnee Elizabeth lives in Bermuda, homie. So that's, that's that ain't got nothing to do with us. Uh, oh, I, that's why I got thrown off. Okay, well, I might be the fifth. But what I'm telling you is do it early. I'm not telling you who to vote for. Just don't vote for the person that's orange. That's all. I'm not trying to tell you when to vote and how to vote. I'm just saying if you do vote, try to vote against the people that that person that is orange and yells out in the crowd, that's my African-American. Look at my African-American. Don't vote for that person if you get a chance. Don't vote for the person that grabs pussies. That says he grabs pussy, but I can't say that because you'll say Biden's a pussy grabber. No, he's a little creepy with the touchy touch. He's a hair touch, smeller. He's but a he hair has, smeller. Yeah, he's a hair smeller, but he's not a pussy grabber. No, and well, at least to our knowledge. So I'm gonna go off of that. But I heard the motherfucker say I'm grab pussies. Yeah. So, so go with uh, that. And 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 just to clarify, before we get out of here, we got a uh, like a minute forty five. Uh, it is in in California for those of us who are out here, October fifth. Is is the it is the fifth the beginning yeah, of early I got voting? Confused. I got confused. Yeah, I'm I thought it was the first. I'm starting to think we need to just forget about the mail and stuff, and everybody just go in person, so there's no confusion, and we can get the results the night of most of the time, and and just blow this motherfucker out the water. But but get out there, people. However you got to do it. Get damn, it is that how you? That's you just blow this motherfucker out the water. Just just, just damn hardcore. That was hardcore votes. verbiage, bro. That was Wu Tang verbiage. Like, yeah, yeah. That was like. Yo, let's just blow this motherfucker out the water, son. son. Let's just blast him. Blast yeah. him. Blast him in the chest. Boom, bam. Wu Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. So I don't know why. You know what? I mean, you, you know also... what? When you listen to Wu Tang, you feel grimy. Tell the no, truth. No, it gets you there. When you after you listen you to that shit, it makes you, it makes you just feel like, yeah, I'm a sucker punch a fucking puppy, just for no reason. Yeah, I can't. I can't listen to Wu Tang in the shower, or I'll be like, man, fuck this soap, and I just come out grimy <laughs> and shit. Like, fuck that. Um, you know what else is going on? I love man, this show, though. Yeah, this show, Savage AF. We will be back on Monday. Uh, and uh, we'll be at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Friday again at 3 p.m., guys. Uh, thank y'all for rocking with us. Be safe. Have a good yeah, weekend. And thank you for, something to make thank you for adding to the, um, the podcast. Um, the podcast. And also, we, our numbers went up on the YouTube. So thank you so much for that. Continue going on them. Continue sharing them. That is so cool. Thank you. Yeah, man. We appreciate y'all. We are Savage AF. We'll see you on Monday. Have a positive weekend. Monday. Stay out of trouble.